Let's see what we can find here. I haven't been to Lurland Village in a long time. I think there's a side quest here that we could do still with the freaking gambling or whatever, but I forgot what it was. I haven't done it. Is this the mayor's house? Where's the mayor's son at? I, I don't remember where his son is. Um. Oh. Hey, sir. I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you around. You sightseeing? Sightseeing? Huh? You haven't heard? There's a special place where they say you can find your true love. Folks come from all over to visit, hoping for love. It's the lover's pond on Tuth Mountain. Why don't you go check it out, Mister? I know I love his pond. Are you taking a liking to this village? Feel free to ask me any questions you have about local things, about the village. <laughs> Lurland Village is a fishing village. When I was younger, I used to be a fisherman myself. The fish here are fresh and delicious. You should try some at least once. Anything else you'd like to know? The large island is to the east of the island is called Eventide Island. There's some legend about the island, so the fish visitors fishermen tend to avoid it whenever possible. I've been there. What? You've been there? That's amazing. Anything else you'd like to know? The ruins? If you walk east of this village, from the village, and keep going up for it, you'll end up at Palmer Beach. Palmer Beach. There are some old ruins there. One of the youths from the village, Garbini, goes to the pond, goes there often to poke around. If you're interested, you should go see them. Garbini should be able to tell you a lot more about them. Alright. If you think anything else, come back to ask me. Alright, so it's your side quest, but... All right, so I need to find a um, a Korok leaf. Which I'm sure is possible. But where's this, uh, where's the gambling place? I keep remembering that there was a gambling place. You got something? What's going on with you? Yo, know, Traveler, I'm a fisherman in this village, but we're, we're been in a bind lately. Monsters have taken over the best fishing spots. You used to be able to pull good hauls at R.S. Beach, but these days you'd be lucky to leave with there with your life. You look pretty tough. You think you can go take care of them? I can't believe it. You took care of the monsters at R.S. Beach? It's been so long since I had a fish from those waters. Thanks, mate. I suppose I could give you this to show my appreciation. Oh, thank you. I didn't know I did that either. Come back whenever you like. I'll share the ladies' hall with you. Also, that once occupied the camp at our speech have been dispatched, and the villagers' regulars' uh, fishing operations have resumed. I guess I did that a long time ago. She looked kind of shook. She looked surprised that I was uh, a dark monster. Alright, so this is the gambling place. Psst, come here, no closer. How would I like to be rich without having to work for her? <laughs> Link's like, really? How? <laughs> hey, hey, simmer down. I'm not talking about anything illegal here. See those treasure chests over there? What do you say you do a little wager on them? The idea is you pick any chest you want and open it. Simple, right? The best part is, whatever chest you open, you get all the money inside. Of course, only one chest is worth opening. <laughs> Don't come crying to me if you pick wrong. Before you go opening any boxes, you have to show me what it's, what it's ah. worth to you. What's the bathroom if you don't stand to lose a bundle on it? That's the part that's being that really gets a man's heart racing. You have to see how much you want to throw in, but the more you bet, the more you stand to win. I mean, like, you must have expenses. Couldn't hurt to make some quick cash right here, right now, am I right? What do you say? All you gotta lose is your pride and your money. Ah, boy. 
Now for the million VP question, how much are you betting? Um, I'll bet ten. <laughs> Just sipping a toe in the water, eh? Probably smart. I'll go get set up. No peeking while I'm fitting with chest. Got it. Oh. There you go. Step right up. Take your chances. Take all the time you need to choose a chest to open. Look, listen, smell, taste, tell taste me if you think it'll help. A green rupee. This breaks, but hey, surely you win the big next time. Are you gonna keep going? <laughs> A green uh. rupee. Oh. Another green. This thing rigged, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Huh? Is this thing rigged? <laughs> How can the right church just always be a green rupee? Another green. <laughs> oh. Hey, there's a red. <laughs> well, who would have thought? I mean, it was pure luck, but. You're gonna keep going, right? Or do you want to admit to, or do you admit to pee? I don't think so. Hey, right, you. Hey, that's what you want. Fair enough. Every good game with knows it's time to walk away. I'm always here in case you ever feel like trying your luck again. I don't know. I don't trust this place at all. Cause how could the ruby? How could the chest on the right side always be be a a, a, a singular green rupee that many times in a row? The probability of it being a green rupee every time. It's only 33%, <laughs> you know? What's going on with you two? Oh. Are you a traveler? Hello, Kiana. This is Lerland Village. We're a small fishing town, and I'm, I'm proud of it. My husband is a fisherman, and I have two sons who will probably grow up to be fishermen, too. Oh. What should I cook for tonight's dinner? Yeah. Make a seafood pala. It's so good and yummy and great. That sells it. I make some seafood pala. Oh. Yay. Mm. You seem to be a bit short on ingredients, though. We need goat butter, a hearty blue shell snail. I'm so busy with health work, but I don't have time to go shopping for ingredients. Oh, I know. Can you go get the ingredients we're missing? Uh, really? I'm happy to hear that. I'll be waiting. <laughs> don't be afraid. Oh, you have the ingredients? Can I have them? Sure. Alright, I'll take those then. I'll start cooking. Here's a little something. Oh, thanks. Since you found the missing ingredients, why don't you eat with us? It'll be done soon. I love how they're always fucking, like, afraid, no matter what. Like, Jesus Christ, like, you were- I wasn't just talking to you for fucking five seconds. I was like, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> seafood Pala, no fisherman's bet birthday bash would be complete without this top shelf seafood dish. I love seafood so much, dude. It's, like, making me hungry just think about it. I fucking adore seafood. Go on, dig in, it's delish. What's for dinner? Goat butter, hearty blue shell snail, mighty porgy, rock salt, highly rice. That sounds delicious. Anything with rice and fucking meat is fucking great. Uh, you thought Kiara, you brought you brought Kiara the goat butter and everything. She shared some of this with you. Yes, thanks. Right on. I, I remember. I re I recognize I didn't spend a lot of time in Lorland Village. Like I kind of looked around for a little bit and then I went and did all the all the shrine quests. I think, but I know there's like a bunch of side quests I still need to do. Technically, because I didn't really spend a lot of time here. I went to go. I, I continued exploring and fighting monsters, so I didn't spend a ton of time out here. Um, I thought that was the mayor's house. <laughs> no.
No Korok Leaf? I need a Korok Leaf so I can assess this Wrath. I don't know where I can find a Korok Leaf. I just have so many damn weapons. My Golden Claim is about to break. Um, what should I do now? I want to do the side quest. What time is it? It's 12.46. What other side quest do I have aside from this one? Uh, I, I, I haven't seen a, I haven't met a Goron named Sun yet, which is just fucking weird. I mean, it's not, it's not like they're hard to find out Gorons and shit. Alright, um, hmm. I know I can find a Korok Leaf, but I don't want to just break my fucking my weapons and stuff and just be like, alright, well, whatever. So what am I going to do now? I need to fucking um, get more item space, but I'm not going to do any, a new region tonight yet. I'm not doing a new region tonight. I know exactly where I can find a Korok Thief, so that's what I'm going to do, because, um... I don't know, I guess it's just like, um, <clears throat> as common as they are supposed to be, you don't really find them anywhere, but I always know that there's one here. Alright. 
Let's go back to Lorland Village. And try out this fucking side quest. For the sunken treasure. The Dutchman's treasure. I guess Kilt is here too. So, I think this is my triangle. Shared a legend of a chakra treasure. A shadow sleeps at the center of the golden triangle. We should check it out. Is this the golden triangle? It says it's at the center. Yep. Some topaz, not bad. Blade. 
Not bad, but I don't technically need that right now. I have way too many other weapons. Some more topaz. Alright, I guess this is a thunder. A thunder items and shit. So I'm pretty sure they say topaz is supposed to have electrical properties or whatever. Blue is supposed to have fire properties and sapphire is supposed to have cool properties. I don't think a sapphire. Treasure sleeps in the center of the Golden Triangle. We pinpointed a location referring to the, the legend of the treasure from the waters of the Klarnak coast. And we should tell Rosalind the good news. Thank you for letting me know we're balling. Do you have different stuff when you're in a different location? Sure, if he had different stuff depending on where he was, because I mean, I've only ever seen him near the Rudu town. Hey, old man, wake up! Wake up! Out these side quests one by one. Oh. Thank you. 
we found it? Ho oh, ho, incredible. After all these years, people still managed to surprise me. You know, there might be some treasure that yet sleeps in the ocean. A diligent boy like you can be, could get rich finding it. May all your delving end in gold. Nice. Alright. Um, I don't know where this Goron is supposed to be. And I don't really know where I'm going to find a Wind Cleaver either. So... Unless there are no more side quests around this town... I guess it's okay for us to leave now. What's up, Gerudo Mama? It's starting to rain. Oof, rain is the worst. It really makes me miss home. Where's home? I grew up in Gerudo Town, so we surrounded by a desert. It never rains the desert. I thought it was neat at first, but now I'm pretty sick of the freaking rain. What a weirdo. <laughs> Okay, well, what if I were a guru clothes? Would you be like, oh, hey, bye, or whatever? What a weirdo. <laughs> Alright, well, she's not. She's not interested in talking. Um, is there anyone else with a side quest? Because we are about to start shopping around. Because we're going to wrap this up very soon. Oh, I can't take the grilled fish. I can just look at it. Our beach is a great place to fish, tons of fish, and even a couple of little secrets. Check this out. You see a bunch of fish gathering around a reef. Sometimes you can find treasures hidden there. Really? I may or may not have known that. I probably didn't. Alright, well, it doesn't look like there's a lot less for me to do here. And since I can't really start any of the other side quests just yet, and we gotta find out where this Goron is, I think we're gonna wrap it up right now. Because it's already one o'clock, and I, I think I think we did a good amount of things today. We did the rest of this mountain and all the side quests that involve it. I think we got the Guru Thunder Helm, so I'm pretty happy about that. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything going on. Uh, next time we play this game, we're gonna um, check out the Heber Snow Region, so that'll be fun. Um, for now, I'm gonna end the recording. And then shortly after I'm going to end the streaming. But first we're going to shop around and find a lot of stuff to buy. And hopefully we can have a lot of it, okay? So, thanks for watching these videos, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I stream Zelda Breath of the Wild on um, Mondays and Tuesdays, primarily. Um, at 4 p.m. PST at twitch.tv slash xjdbaku15. Alright, I really appreciate you guys checking out the VODs and the videos and leaving likes and commenting, guys. I really appreciate the help. It helps out the channel grow and everything, so that's totally W. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to end the recording, and I'll see you guys next time for more Breath of the Wild, okay? See you later.